Welcome back to Minecraft Getting to the End. This is installment number 19. And in our last installment, we spent a ton of time exploring this cavern right here and uh, making this straight tunnel that we see. And uh, I'm just going to offload some of the stuff that I harvested. Um, I'm looking for a mob spawner, uh, specifically one for skeletons or zombies. And uh, I don't usually have a good luck caving for them. Um, I did go down into this ravine to see if I could find a, a place where an abandoned mine shaft intersects it, which is um, rather common. Uh, but I did not find that. I harvested a bunch of stuff, so that's good. Ooh, I better light this up a little bit. All right, that doesn't go anywhere. So I'm, ooh, iron. Uh, I am going to keep going with my straight tunnel and uh, listening as much as I can and see if I can't locate that spawner. I really want to build an XP farm and get a looting three sword. Um, it will give me a very good opportunity to have a uh, set of enchanted tools and uh, the looting sword especially will allow me to harvest uh, ender pearls a lot faster. Of course I want to go ahead and box in the area, one so that I don't fall down and two so that I don't have uh, mobs getting into this um, long passageway that will connect uh, whatever I find and my old base. Hopefully I'll find something. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world if I don't find something. Uh, my plan uh, for fighting the second boss, the Wither, uh, is to have a, a long tunnel that is two blocks high and only one block wide um, because it uh, the Wither can't fit into that space and so it has to break the block in order to come after me which slows it down and uh, the wither's fast and dangerous so slowing it down is a really good thing so if I don't find anything this could always end up being the tunnel that I use to battle that boss um, of course if it gets loose in one of these ravines that will be <laughs> a definite issue so let's keep digging Now, I have in the past dug really long tunnels like this. Um, the game I was playing previous to this, I dug about a two kilometer long tunnel between my base and the f uh, fortress. Um, but I did ha already have a uh, XP farm at that time. And so I had like a dozen efficiency picks and uh, that makes it a lot faster. It's fine. It just uh, slows things down marginally. It's not a bad idea to go slow anyway when we're looking for a spawner because you have to be within a certain number of blocks of the actual spawner in order for um, mobs to generate. And so the slower I go, the more chance there is that um, multiple mobs will be generated. an open area. Huh. Another ravine. Oh. I see a skeleton. There we go. Oh, no, that's what I already explored. So that, that ravine is, this is just parallel running ravines.
Okay, back in business. These stone pickaxes are cheap, but I do go through them pretty quickly. Uh, I'm sure you saw back there, I do have um, a chest in the ground as well as a crafting table. And uh, I got plenty of pickaxes stored there. go ahead and clear out some of the stuff I don't really need here and uh, load up on tools much faster to use the shift click there we go all right now we're back in business Don't have a shovel with me right now, and uh, you know these non-solid blocks—the uh, sand, dirt, and uh, gravel—you don't want to use your pickaxe on because it has a greater durability hit on it. So you actually run out of that pickaxe much faster. And you know when you dig into them, you can just hear it like that right there so that's kind of what tells me and I'm assuming as long as you don't actually harvest the block that you don't get the durability hit I could be wrong about that I really just made that up I suppose good I have still have quite a number of torches left I might go ahead and harvest some coal if I come across it. There should be no shortage of stumbling across minerals on this trip. Still not really hearing anything that would tip me off that I am near a spawner. Go ahead and repair these. Now each time you combine two partially used tools together you get a 10% durability bonus. So uh, waste not, want not. Hearing a lot of water, I'm not hearing any mobs. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm deep enough. Ooh, iron. Yay.
to grab these minerals when I get a chance like that. Oh, there's a little bit more up there. I am going to dig down lower. I don't know how many levels, maybe like 10. And uh, see if that provides any more results, because I think I should have come across something more interesting than I have by now. Plus, I was right at the top of those ravines before. Yeah, we'll see. Let's dig down a little bit here. Very nice. Go ahead and get this uh, coal and I can make some more torches. actually need the gold right now and I don't think I have an iron pickaxe on me so it'll be easy enough to find again I'm just gonna leave it right there here in some lava some dirt. Go ahead and bash my way through that with a stone block. Oh, more iron. Oh, I heard a skeleton. It's just one. I'm hearing more sounds. quite sure where it's coming from. Maybe it's this way. Ooh, more iron. Very nice. Ooh, this is a big vein of it. my skeleton anymore. I'm hearing some bubbling of lava. Oh, now I'm hearing skeleton. Okay. I don't know. some some sounds I I don't I don't actually think it's a spawner I think it's just a cave or something all right I'm gonna keep going hmm I'm digging away with the torch 
Lots of gravel. Oh, more iron. We're in very good shape for iron ore right now. Zombies. At least one. Ooh, more iron ore. Now it sounds like more than one. Definitely a cavern up there. Let's seal it up so they don't fall down on us. Okay. Come and get it. up a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, it just seems to be a cave. Water's up there. And more zombies. That could just be the darkness. Uh, it's hard to get through this water. Okay, let's see if we can... Oh! Look at that! That right there is cobblestone, and I did not put it there. There is definitely a spawner in there, and I'd say it's a zombie spawner. Come here. Let's light it up. Oh! Let's see if we can get up in there. Ooh, this water is really making it tough for me. Oh, no, I hit my torch. Oh, that does not help. Come on, buddy. Oh, come on. I right, will put that there. I need to take care of this water. Eat. Eat more. <laughs> right, let's see if we can get that water taken care of. There we go. Light this up. Zombies everywhere. I have to say, if this was a skeleton spawner, I think I'd be dead by now. But we're okay, because zombies are kind of like a little bit easier mob to handle. Right, so I just need to get in here and light up everything so that there's no more that are just going to spawn. And it's fine to take a little damage doing that, because most likely this is the only guy I have to deal with. Excellent! zombie spawner so we are going to go ahead and uh, use this as our xp farm uh, when i come back for the next episode i'll detail um, how to build the um, xp spawner and how to uh, make this area safe it will become the area for our new base and uh, i think right now i'm just gonna put up some brick to make sure that uh, we don't have any surprises. And I think there was another side to this. Oh, there's a big area of blackness up there. Oh, and a spider. All right, so I need to take care of this area. I don't even need to light it up. I can just go ahead and wall it off. 
All right, so that should be safe right there. And, uh, oh yeah, up here. Let's see, oh geez, so uh, that probably goes to where we just walled up, who knows. Um, I will, you know, come back and explore this stuff later, but for now I wanna go ahead and, oh, I'm hearing, hearing a skeleton. There he is. It's not really worth wasting my arrows on this guy. Take him off and then just let my health regenerate. And uh, let's put up a wall here and maybe we'll leave a place for a door for later, for a later exploration. There we go, that should take care of our door area. that in for now. But there we go. Yeah, a couple good things in there. But until next time, this has been Minecraft getting to the end.